In this video, let's look at a technique to improve the performance of retrieval augmented generation. I'll be referring to this weights and biases article from Ayush Thakur, who talks about building advanced query engine and evaluation with Llama index and weights and biases. But uh, you know, in my collab demo, I'll be using Llama index. I'll be using custom embeddings. I'll also be using a custom uh, LLM model, which is your Zephyr, okay, to explain this concept of uh, your cross encoder re-ranking. Okay, so first, uh, what is RAG? So basically, you have source data, which is a set of documents on which you want to query, and you want a LLM to actually give a response for this query. So what is generally done is that uh, the documents are converted into chunks okay which are nodes and then there is an embedding model which will actually uh, convert it into vectors and then it will be stored in a vector database that's your knowledge base so when there is a user query you use the same embedding model and then get the embeddings for this particular user query pass it to a retriever retriever will retrieve uh, relevant content or con uh, content or chunks from this vector database now this is then sent to a LLM okay, as context to an agent or an LLM and the LLM gives you the output based on this user query. This is your retrieval augmented generation. Okay. Now to improve the accuracy of retrieval augmented generation, one of the way is like how can you re-rank this retrieved chunks in order of usefulness okay, for the query. right? So this is where you have this concept of uh, your uh, cross encoder re-ranker. Okay. So the idea over here is that the retrieved chunk along with the query, the retrieved chunks basically along with the query is sent to a cross encoder re-ranker. Okay. Which is a BERT uh, based uh, encoder type transformer model. Uh, where there is an attention across the query and the document and then it gives some kind of you know a relevance a, a confidence score for each of these documents okay and then you can select the top three documents top five documents okay which can be then sent for your llm to generate the response okay so in this way you can improve the performance of a retrieval augmented generation system that is the idea over here. Okay. So basically you can use a BERT uh, based cross encoder re-ranker. Okay. Uh, so it has a binary classification head on top of it. It takes as input the user query and the candidate chunk and gives a score between 0 to 1 indicating whether we should keep or drop the chunk. Okay. So in this way you can select the top 3 chunks, top 5 chunks which are relevant to this query. In this way, you are improving the performance of a RAG based generation system when compared to a simple RAG where you are not doing this cross encoder re ranker, but you are just retrieving chunks and giving it to the LLM. Okay. So let's look at the practical implementation of this. Uh, there is this code available over here as well. Uh, I've just made some changes. Um, so let me go to my collab notebook. Okay. So I need to install sentence transformers, Gradio, Llama index and a lot of libraries. And what I'm going to do is that I want to chat with this particular PDF document, which talks about Gemini. Uh, this is the paper uh, which talks about Gemini from Google DeepMind. Um, they talk about, um, you know, what is Gemini? Uh, what are the benchmark performances? What is the architecture? So on. This is the research paper, right? So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to install all the necessary libraries right and then uh, i also make use of a zephyr language model okay it's a quantized language model okay because um, you know this is a collab gpu instance with 15 gb of ram i wanted to use a 7 billion parameter model and i wanted to make use of uh, this quantized models to um, you know improve performance also reduce my memory footprint okay so i've made previous videos on how to run this quantized models you can look at it um, so for that, I install this Llama CPP Python library. Okay. Then I upload this PDF file under a folder called data. Okay. Over here and over this uh, documents. Okay. What I do is that uh, I create a simple directory reader 
um, by passing this path okay to read this pdf file and to convert it into text okay this is done by simple directory reader from llama index okay i call this simple directory reader i pass this path dot load data it basically reads the text from this pdf document and that is what is stored in documents okay then i initialize our custom llm which is your um, quantized version of zephyr 7b uh, alpha okay so that is a model which i am uh, instantiating over here and this is how you do it because this is a context model i am using the llama cpp uh, you know library to load this llm okay so this is actually a 5 bit context model right and uh, you know some specific things over here is that it is this context of 3900 tokens and then uh, you know i am making this n gpu layers is equal to minus 1 because you can run context models on cpu but here i wanted to run on gpu that is why i am making these parameters as minus 1 okay and these are some of the default messages to prompt completion to prompt it is present within the llama index utils which is about you know uh, you are assistant the system prompt and other kind of messages so that is kind of default taken care of over here so this is my llm now for embeddings i am using this bg small en v1.5 so this is that embedding uh, this is called flag embedding from um, uh, thing okay uh, bai uh, labs basically um, so this is a good uh, embeddings over here in terms of performance versus size now if you go for the trade-off in this leaderboard it gives decent performance so i have chosen that okay uh, by default in open uh, in llama index they would make use of open ai embeddings and open ai as llm i am changing it over here to your uh, zephyr 7b alpha and bg small that's the difference okay now i create a service context over here by passing the llm and the embedding model so this is also done then here is where i am introducing the uh, your uh, cross encoder re-rank okay so for this it's a post processor so which you uh, import from llama index index post processor import sentence transformer re-rank sentence transformer library needs to be installed for this and this is how i am instantiating this particular sentence transformer uh, basically this is your re-ranker okay so that is what i am doing over here more details of relevant models are present in this particular github link okay of this cross encoder re-rankers so i am instantiating that over here and i am saying that i want the top three documents okay based on this re-ranking probability or confidence score i want the top three documents uh, top not documents top three chunks retrieved chunks okay then using llama index i can just create a vector store from index by passing the documents and my service context the service context which i have instantiated here saying that use my custom embedding model and custom llm okay and when i am creating the query engine over here index as query engine uh, similarity top case but here i am introducing this node post processor re equal to re rank okay this which i have instantiated so now what it it will do is that it will basically uh, you know take these chunks the retriever will take these chunks and give it to the cross encoder re ranker to select the top three chunks that is what is done over here then i create a small predict function which takes an input and history and the response is nothing but and i'm returning the response this is basically your input query okay this is for the gradio interface which i am creating gradio chat interface i am passing this predict function which takes the history and input input is the user query and it will generate an output okay and i'm launching the gradio interface the gradio interface looks something like this right and the first question i've asked is like what is gemini it says gemini is a family of highly capable multi-model models developed at google for cross model reasoning and language understanding it consists of ultra pro uh, this answer is very good over here previously on the same document i have tried uh, without uh, you know re-ranking the responses the response was not that great but with re-ranking the accuracy of the response improves so here it says that uh, advances the state of art in 30 out of 32 benchmarks the new capability of gemini models um, gemini models enable a wide variety of uses and the team at google is uh, deploying them responsibility to users so then i asked like in which benchmark does gemini beat gpt4 it says gemini outperforms gpt4 on several benchmarks including increasing difficulty math problems from middle and high school math competitions and it gives this nice response 
okay so the response uh, accuracy is improved over here more relevant content is coming out based on the query okay so if you go to this particular uh, you know uh, the gemini paper over here here they talk about the evaluations and here they talk about you know where gpt 3.0 uh, where um, your gemini ultra performs better than gpt 4 so over here they say right uh, gemini ultra model outperforms all competitor model on this math benchmark so it has taken from this context and it is actually pulled out this kind of a response based on first it pulls out the relevant you know uh, chunks from the relevant chunks it uses this cross encoder uh, to actually uh, re-rank and based on that context the, the top three chunks are given as input to the LLM and it generates this response so in this way we are improving the performance of our rag based systems okay so in this article by Ayush Thakur there are a lot of other methods also probably I'll cover one by one um, so first I thought that uh, this is a good um, uh, re-ranker. Uh, re there are newer techniques also for re-ranking the responses. Newer models are coming out which uh, do it faster, which are quite accurate also. Maybe I'll cover them in the future. So I'll make this notebook public. Um, so you And I'll be putting the link of this notebook in the description of the video. You can also go and check it out. I hope this video is useful to you. All the links will be shared in the description of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.